this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Creative SX5 Air Gamer. This is a hybrid gaming headset that's designed to work with both Bluetooth and wired USB-C connection, as well as a 3.5mm offering and an SD card slot, so it has a number of interesting highlights to it. This is an unboxing and review video where I'm going to be talking to you about what my experiences are like with this headset, showing you what's included in the box, talking about the various features of it, and going into a bit of detail on the software and the setup of it because this headset is interesting for a number of reasons one of which is it offers personalized audio when you scan your head and your ears with your phone and the accompanying app it will then personalize the sound to the shape and makeup of your head which makes it interesting obviously it's also a creative headset so it's backed by years of experience with audio design and so they're able to offer a high res audio headset which delivers really good sound and has obviously that connectivity option which mixes it up with both uh, bluetooth and wired connectors to give you the best of both worlds although sadly it isn't a wireless headset so although you could obviously use it connected on bluetooth to your phone or to your pc if you want a low latency connection you're not going to get it through 2.4 gigahertz wireless with this unfortunately however it does support 50 mil drivers and it is able to get up to 96 kilohertz 32 bit sample rate in windows and i'll show you that a bit later on and it has a number of really interesting highlights to it in terms of the sound setup because it works with super x fi and sx fi battle mode which is designed for fps to give you a really precise directional audio also as you'll see as we take it out of the box it has quite a nice design to it this is very similar to the creative sx5 gamer headset that i reviewed last year literally a year ago i did a video on the previous version of this headset this is the air version and the air is essentially just the addition of Bluetooth and a slight change to the ear cups. And I'll show you the ear cups in a bit more of depth in a minute because they are incredibly comfortable. Now in the box, you obviously get the headset itself as well as a little box of accessories. You'll notice that the headset has a little tiny microphone plugged into it as standard. And that is a nano boom microphone, which is a diddy little thing. And then you have this longer commander microphone, which is designed to give you a better capture quality and an almost broadcast quality. So a really good capture quality for a gaming headset. You then also have a USB-C to USB-C cable and 3.5mm connection and an adapter. So if you don't have a USB-C connection on your PC or other device, you can plug the cable into that. And that's one of the things I'll say it works with PlayStation, for example, and other consoles and Nintendo Switch as well. And the, the, one of the main focuses points of this headset is that Bluetooth connection allows for gamer chat, which is essentially when you're playing games, you can also have the headset connected to your phone so that you can make calls via your phone with your friends or whatever else. You can answer a call while still playing your game and not interrupting it which is one of the ways they make a highlight of it. But for me, it's more interesting in a number of other ways, and that includes that personalized sound, the fantastic microphone. And just for reference, I'm using the microphone to do the voiceover for this video so you can understand what the quality of the mic's like. Now, the USB-C cable that comes included in the box isn't terribly long, I'll be honest. It's plugged into the front of my gaming PC, and it's just got about enough length to stretch across the space that I use it in, but it's quite short. It is, however, Teflon coated, and it's designed to be really durable. You'll see it like sort of thick, sturdy looking cable. It looks like it'll stand up to time and won't have any problems snagging on things. It certainly doesn't sort of get knotted up, which is a bonus. As I said, you have the adapter, which allows you to plug in the USB-C connection to a USB-A port if you don't have a spare USB connection. And you also have a 3.5mm jack to enable you to plug into other things. You have those two different mic options. This is the Commander Boom microphone, a very flexible microphone with a really good capture quality for a headset microphone. And then you have the tiny little diddy one that you can see installed on the headset itself 
as standard. You obviously can use that one if you want to use the headphones out of the house. Let's say it's just Bluetooth headphones and you want to be able to talk to people on calls. You have the option to put that little mic in and then you can obviously opt for the bigger one when you're in a good gaming session. Here a close up look at the ear cup design and you'll see a wonderfully perforated protein leather set up with some really nice memory foam cushioning. Those ear cups are wonderfully deep and large and that was one of the striking things about the design and I'll show you more of that in a minute. You'll also note there's a little rubber blanking plate that you can pop into the hole for the microphone. So if you don't want to use either of the mics, you could just fill that hole in and then use an external boom arm mounted microphone, for example, to get a better quality there and obviously makes the headset look a bit cleaner as well. One of the things that I really liked about this headset is the design in terms of the comfort. It's a really nice headset in terms of that comfort. When I put it on, I was struck by how comfortable it is. What they've done is they've taken a protein leather ear cup with memory foam cushioning. They've made a perforated design on the outside. So it's a sort of middle ground striking between having a really sort of decent leather that blocks out a lot of external noise and having something which is uh, more on the sort of fiber material end so you don't get too hot so the holes in it obviously make it more breathable and comfortable what you will notice though is there's a nice tilt and twist in the ear cup design so they'll actually move around really nicely what this means is that when you put the headset on you can adjust it into a position where it just sits nicely over your ears no matter sort of the shape of your head or your ear shape and you can just get it to fit really nicely there also a nicely extendable headband and some really nice padding on top i found this headset to be really easy to wear for hours and hours on end i've been using it for gaming and for working so working throughout the day then gaming in the evening or video editing listening to music watching films playing games i found it a really good setup in that way and it, as you can see you obviously have a multiple different connection options i've been using it on pc which is where you probably get the best sound out of this but it will work with other devices and i've been using it on my phone as well in the bluetooth settings to listen to music you obviously have the bonus of being able to make and receive calls on there as well so there's loads of different options and a good flexibility with this headset it's also not terribly expensive it's not the most expensive headset i've seen by any means and yet it delivers high red audio and you have a multitude of connection options and a really nice setup with a really comfortable design you can get about 11 hours of battery life out of it in terms of the bluetooth but obviously it would do better if you turn the rgb lighting off which you can do with some of the buttons on the outer side so you can adjust the rgb lighting and you can change the colors and you can turn it off if you don't want to use it as well if you're out and about out of the house you probably don't want that on so it's nice to have that flexibility to be able to do that and another close-up of the ear cups just to show you the size of them but also the fact that you can take them off you can see underneath and you can see the setup and how they're designed so it would be possible to change them out in the future if you want to really easy to swap for something else if you can find an aftermarket setup you want to just clip those in then you shouldn't have a problem doing that you'll notice there are a number of different buttons on this headset it has different controls on it but one thing you will see that is lacking is a volume wheel so there's no volume wheel on the headset in a traditional manner instead you have touch controls on left ear cup so if you swipe up on that ear cup in the center it turns it up if you swipe down it it turns it down left and right actually skips and rewinds music and you can also do touch controls for answering calls there's a obviously a USB-C port for connecting the USB-C device and 3.5mm next to that on the front you'll notice there's the power button which also doubles as a button to turn the RGB lighting on and off I really found this headset to be really intelligent in terms of how it powers on and such as well so for example if you haven't been using it for a while or you've turned it off from a previous session if you plug it in the USB automatically recognizes that's what you're doing and it just switches to that source because you also have a source button on the back that allows you to switch between the various sources i've already said you've got bluetooth you've got usb and you have the sd card as an option and 3.5 bell so there's a few different sources 
you can switch between them with the button but it also does it intelligently as well the bluetooth connection is really good obviously it has that standard bluetooth range so it's not a great distance it's up to 10 meters but if you've got the phone in your pocket for example you can just carry on doing that really easily another bonus of this setup is it also will work with a dual connectivity setup so you can be listening to music on your phone and listening to game audio at the same time one downside is i've found that i can't get the audio levels to be different so you can't have different volumes for the two different sources so that's one downside but the upside is certainly that you can do both so it is possible to be able to watch youtube video on your phone for example while you're in a game with people so if you're in a game where you've died and you've got to wait to respawn for example you can watch on your phone and listen to that without interrupting or alt tabbing out of a game so that's a bonus and something that i really like on other headsets that i've tried you can see there's a Bluetooth button underneath, switching between sources and for pairing the device. There's also an app that I'll show you later on on your phone and one on Windows. So you need to go into the app to personalize that sound as I was talking about before. There's a micro SD card slot so you can put music onto a micro SD card and then put that in there if that's something that interests you. And then there's the SX5 button. Now that turns on the personalized audio that you'll set up in the headset, but also activates battle mode. Now battle mode is an audio setting which is designed to highlight things like footsteps and enemy movement in FPS games to give you the upper hand. That is something that you can turn on and off with that button and obviously that adjusts the audio soundscape. What you will find and what I found is that when you start using the headset it feels quite hollow and the sound doesn't sound that amazing when you first put it on but once you go through the setup process using the app scanning your head and getting that audio set up nicely you'll find it's really good it also has 2.1 5.1 and 7.1 virtual surround sound options but the battle mode is obviously a better button to press if you want to make the most of fps games now what you've seen so far is a really nice headset with really good comfort it's a really, really nice memory foam cushioning. That protein leather is certainly very nice. Does a good job of blocking out external noise and yet doesn't get too hot. So it's a wonderful strike between those different things. A good balance. It's also a very nice headset to wear for a long time and it does a really good job with audio. I wasn't too sure at first, but once you customize things down a bit, you have a great audio and i've been enjoying music and movies and gaming with it the fact that you can switch between sources so easily and adjust audio both in the software in terms of the eq settings and also just turning super x fi on and off makes it really nice also having bluetooth on a headset is very good because it means that you can pair it and then listen to music on your phone and so it makes the headset multifaceted and because it's not too in your face when you turn that rgb lighting off you can easily just take it out of the house wearing them as standard headphones you've got the mic removed people won't even realize that you're a gamer uh, apart from the gamers markings on the outside of it but it's a fairly understated headset and yet remarkably comfortable and capable it ticks the boxes in many different areas i am obviously quite sad that it doesn't work with wireless connectivity if you look at something like the corsair virtuoso wireless xt that i looked at recently that obviously has a multiple connection in terms of bluetooth usb 3.5 but it also has uh, the wireless connection as well which this doesn't this sorely lacks i think if creative was to release a new version of this headset that also had a wireless dongle so you could get proper low latency wireless out of it they'd be onto a winner with this because it's a very affordable headset that's really comfortable has great audio a good microphone lots of nice customization and it's got loads and loads of different things going for it to be honest the touch controls are a little fiddly that's one thing that I will say. I would prefer a volume wheel, I think. It's all very nice to have a volume touch controls on it and the media playback controls that you can see me using here. However, I found that adjusting audio up and down is a bit of a mess. It's not terribly easy. You have to keep flicking up, for example, if you're on a low volume setting and you want to turn it all the way up. However, the headset certainly does get quite loud. It is not a quiet headset, so you won't have problems with it in there. 
and you can obviously customize the audio as well. You also have the ability to control your music and such from here. You can see me just swiping and changing between tracks on there. And also, as I said, you can also pause and play music and you can answer calls. So there's various different custom actions that are available from that left ear cup. So there's plenty of different things that make this headset interesting. And it's nicely adjustable with a good clamping force. You can see me demonstrating it here on this glass skull. People keep asking where I get this from. It's from Amazon. Just search for glass headphone stand and you'll probably find something similar. A very nice little device. And you can see just sort of the fit of it on the glass skull. But I found it to be terribly comfortable with a nice extendable headband. Now I want to go into showing you what happens with the app. So there's an accompanying app that works with both iPhone and Android devices that you download and connect to your headset. You can pair it with the headset. There's a button to do the pairing process via Bluetooth. And once you've done that, you then connect. I'm going to show you on the left-hand side what the app looks like and the processes that you go through. It's a simple application. You create an account and then you have to personalize by capturing pictures of your face and of your ears and then it uses some clever technology to adjust the sound to suit your own personal head shape and your ear setup and this is uh, one thing to bear in mind because if you give the headphones to someone else you, their sound profile won't be the same as yours and so it's like switching between people it, you wouldn't have a great experience they wouldn't have the same experience you would without scanning their ears so it's something worth bearing in mind this might seem a bit gimmicky I feel like it probably is a little bit gimmicky. However, it does make a noticeable difference to the sound. So it certainly is worth doing. And if you got the headset out and you found it to be a bit hollow and not terribly good, then it is worth going through this setup process. However, I will say that it is beneficial to get someone else to help you with it. You can use either camera, whether the selfie cam or the other camera to do it, but you've got to get the phone into a position where your ear sits within the right region on the screen, which if you're doing on your own is remarkably difficult to do because you've either got to look out the corner of your eye or try and like balance a mirror or position a mirror in such a way that you can get it. And I had a real drama doing it as you can see here just trying to get it lined up was a bit of a faff just trying to position it uh, it's certainly easier if you have someone else that can do it for you but you only need to get a uh, basically line it up over your ear and then it will quickly scan it and then scan your face and the other side scan and it's a really quick process once you can get those things lined up and then that enables you to then personalize those settings and store it on your phone and when you download the app on your PC you log in there it will then remember the settings that you've got so that you have the same sound profile on there too and so you have a lot of customization options in there which is obviously great like it just sets up and makes a big difference at first like I said it seems gimmicky but it actually makes quite a big difference so it's worth doing but obviously this makes it personal to you so if you give it to someone else they'll need to go through the same process otherwise they won't have the same sound experience once you've done that you'll see that you then have head mapping within the software and it has been personalized and on the specific day you can do it again if you're not happy with it Perhaps you feel like it's not scanned properly and then it will connect to it and it will store that profile on your personal profile so that you can then access it when you're on your PC to get the best possible audio out of it. Once you've done that within the app, you can then also adjust the equalizer settings. You'll see that you can adjust the bass and the treble here. And there's examples of music that you can play or you can use what's already on your phone and you can customize between it. One thing that I found is it's certainly better on the software level than it is in the app. It is much nicer on PC. So I'd recommend downloading the software for Windows or Mac and then you can customize things a bit more. So here you can see the SX5 control center on here. You have an equalizer setting which is, goes between game, classical, flat, pop and other modes. And you can also tweak it. It's quite clever because you have basically the ability to sort of paint a line where you want it to be or a wiggly line wherever, or you can adjust it on a point by point basis. You'll also note there's bass and treble down the bottom. 
I didn't really find it necessary to mess about with this a lot, I'll be honest, but you do have the flexibility to be able to do it. I found that once I set up for personalised sound, it actually had a much better sound than when it first came out of the box, but you do have the option to tweak these things and to customise it depending on what you're doing. It's also worth bearing in mind that you want to go into the setup options to make sure that you have the 7.1 surround sound set up and this headset will work with other options like Dolby Atmos or Windows Sonic sound, which I'll show you in a second as well. But here you can see what I was talking about. You can essentially draw a line of where you want the equalization levels to be and then it will adjust or you can reset it. You also have access to the RGB lighting here and you can customize that so you can basically set what you want it to be or you can turn it on and off. And I will note, as I said earlier, that the power button doubles as an extra control to be able to switch between those modes so you can turn it on and off as well. Gamer Chat, as I said, allows you to talk to your friends via Bluetooth on your phone and then also to still carry on listening to audio on there. And then you have an option to change between stereo 5.1 and 7.1 virtual surround sound. And that does a fairly good job of delivering a pos good positional audio in game as well. So it gives you a good sort of soundscape of where people are and where the enemies are in the world. Now, obviously, Creative have a pretty good knowledge of how to monitor these sound levels and get that sounding great because they've obviously worked on sound blaster equipment over the years so they're, they're pretty good when it comes to gaming sound so they know what they're doing and so you certainly will notice a good quality of sound in here in windows sound settings is worth checking because you can see that you can set it to 32-bit 96 kilohertz studio quality audio if you go into the advanced audio properties on the headset as well so you do have a really good sound and you can also select from the spatial surround sound options in here too so there you have it, the Creative SX5 Air Gamer, a really nice all-round headset with a lot of things to like about it. It's very comfortable, very flexible, and has a number of really awesome features to it. Not to mention that high-rise 96 kilohertz audio went on PC, and the really good battle mode settings for getting the gaming edge in FPS games. This has been the Provoke Pro, and let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see this headset compared with. I'd like to take a moment to give an extra special thanks to my YouTube members, those wonderful people that have clicked that join button to help support the channel. Those include Meter Keyboard, Raw, Jay Shank 007, Sir Spawns a lot, Jeffrey Johnson, Kraken Tortoise, Beast of Bunny, Moist Kebab, and maybe you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you have a really fantastic life. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.